sentinels. And we're going to be looking at input validation. So we're going to first start off with a sentinel. A sentinel is a special value that will, if entered, will stop the loop from running. So in this first one, we're going to be doing a, a quick figuring out of how much uh, property taxes are on property. So we're going to have the tax is going to be 0 0.0065. So this is the tax uh, rate. And then we're going to have the person enter in their enter the lot um, number. So we're going to say print enter the property lot number or enter zero to end. But here I'm going to say instead of zero, I'm going to say negative 99 because I want negative 99 because with choosing a sentinel, you want to choose a value that could be uh, not entered by accident. So lot equals int input lot number. And then now I'm going to say while lot is not equal to negative 99, the loop will continue on. So as soon as the person enters in, um, the lot number of negative 99, then it will stop the program. So here we're going to say value equal float input enter the property value. And then we're going to say tax equals a value times the tax rate. And then I'm going to say property tax dollar sign comma format um, tax comma quote comma dot two f s e p and then here we're going to now do the next one so we're going to just repeat these same two lines down here so it's going to keep going until i enter a negative 99 so let's say, for example, lot 100 is worth 150,000. So $975. So it's going to keep going until I enter in, like I said, that negative 99, and then the program stops. That's that sentinel. So input validation is checking to see if the user is entering in good information. If not, we want to let them know. So for example, let's say hours equal int input, enter the hours worked this week. And then I'm going to say pay rate equals a float input, enter hourly pay rate. And then here I'm going to say our gross pay is equal to hours times pay rate. And I'm going to print gross pay format gross pay comma quote comma dot two F comma SEP equals quotes. So we've seen this kind of program before. So if I enter in and say 400 and I make $20, I don't think I made $8,000 this week. Why? Because I accidentally hit 400. I accidentally hit another zero. So this is where that input validation comes into play of figuring out what happened. So if we say in here, for input validation, so we're trying to imp validate the hours. So I can say while hours is greater than, let's say no one should work more than 100 hours in a week. 
if they accidentally put something more than that, we can print and say, um, cannot work more than 100 hours in a week. And then I will copy this and I'll paste it. So this loop will keep happening until they input something. So here, if I put 400, oh, and then I look, oh man, I accidentally hit another zero. 40 and then 20, then the person made the correct amount of money. So this is input validation. You're just basically saying what you don't want it to go over or under. And we can do the same thing for under. Let's say, and hours less than zero. So if they entered in anything less than zero or higher than 100, so let's say I entered in this by accident. It shouldn't calculate that. So let's figure out, I think I want an or. Let's put negative 99. There we go. I needed an or. And that's still validating the user input. So, and this is very good to make sure the user is actually entering in good information with this. <clears throat> and that is it about loops.